If I weigh about 200 pounds, I want to be drinking about 100 pounds of ounces of water a day. 100 pounds of ounces? For example, if I weigh 200 pounds, I want to be drinking about 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's okay. For example, okay, let me stop laughing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I am joined with the husband, Corey. Thank you for joining us today, babe. Oh, no problem. It's great <laughs> to be here. Okay, it's great to be here. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about... Today we're going to be talking about tips and strategies that we can use to lose weight and then also to keep it off. Yeah, I feel like keeping it off is the hard part. I feel like losing the weight is the easy part. But sometimes it's hard to like keep it off and you've lost a lot of weight. I've lost a lot of weight, yeah. And you've been able to keep it off. I have been able to keep it off. Which is the hard part. It is pretty tough. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I, I wanna give a huge shout out to Fit Track for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get into your first tip. Uh, the first tip uh, when it comes to losing weight and keeping it off is consistency. Okay, so to be um, in a space where you're losing weight, there's a lot of different strategies that actually work, but whatever you do, you'll most likely have to maintain to keep it off. So when you're picking strategies to lose weight, pick something that you wouldn't mind implementing over the course of time. So second tip is all about accountability. Okay. So if you're going to try to lose weight and you want to keep it off, you have to have a way to be accountable. One of the easiest ways to stay accountable is to have clear measurable goals measurable is the key word here if you're not able to measure where you're at how are you going to be able to measure your progress all right so when we're talking about uh measurements one of the great things to have is to start off with some sort of goals okay you want to have goals and so whether it be weight loss weight gain um weight maintenance just an overall healthier lifestyle i wish i goals had really weight important. gain goals because i love to eat Definitely not trying to gain any weight on this end. But yeah. I know that people do like try and like gain weight. And I'm like, ugh, I would love to. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of many people who are wanting to just gain fat. A lot of people who want to gain weight or want to gain muscle. Like, that's I'm true. wanting to gain muscle, but I'm not necessarily wanting to gain pounds. And I'm definitely trying to lose body fat. But having a goal is really important, okay? And one of the ways that you can help measure your goals, one of the quickest, easiest ways. Is with a scale. Corey's the sort of person who weighs himself every single morning. And in turn, I have become that way as well. I feel like it's good because you kind of get an understanding of where you are mm -hmm. every single day. And if what you ate the day before kind of worked for you or worked against you, obviously there are some things that like can impact your weight. For example, how much water you took in that day, the previous day, or how much sleep that you got, how stressed you were, or even if you had like a lot of sodium on a specific day. So, you know, it's not gonna be perfect, but I do think that overall it helps you to be able to tell where you are. So yeah, we both wear ourselves every single day, so that's why we're super excited about today's video sponsor, which is Fit Track. This is the Fit Track scale. Super cute, sleek, if you're into that sort of thing. And what I really like about it is if you're anything like me and you have goals, like I still, I would like to lose probably like five to 10 pounds. Um, I think I'm at like a pretty healthy place now, but I feel like to be at my optimum, I would want to lose like five to 10 pounds. So I love that the Fit Track scale, it actually has an app that corresponds with it. So when you do get onto the scale barefoot, it calculates your weight and it's like three little dots pop up. It calculates your weight and then it syncs to the app and that's what I love about it. So what's really cool about the FitTrack app is that it measures 17 different indicators of your overall health, which is unlike anything I've ever seen in a scale before. The scale that I used to use was just basic. I would get on the scale and just kind of just have to make my own inferences but it measures so many different things and i'll put it up on the screen here all the different things that it measures but something that i thought that was really cool is like the amount of body water that you have so it says for me that i have 48.4 percent of body water which is crazy to me my bone mass is 7.1 pounds which is really interesting 
Um, and then my metabolic age is 27. So I guess I'm tracking to be just about right because uh, I'm about to be 26. So yeah, there's a lot of different things you can see. Your muscle mass, your protein mass, your fat mass, um, the standard weight, and just a lot of different things. Your BMR. So yeah, I think that is super cool if you are trying to get into a place where you are measuring your weight consistently and you also want to you know have a little bit more understanding of what that means for your overall health so if you are interested in getting a fit track scale for yourself definitely be sure to check out the description box because i will have my discount code in the description box and i'll also put it on the screen here and you'll be able to get 20 percent off your order so yeah huge shout out to fit track for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the next point weighing yourself is really important like Leah said, I weigh myself every day because it helps you know where you're at. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you never know. You could have went up because of this, went down because of that. And that's true. But the more you weigh, the more data that you have to, you know, kind of correspond with over time to look at trends in your weight, which is very important. And so moving on from there, you want to be able to look at your body measurements. You know, you want to get a tape measure, a piece of string, anything to understand the actual size of your body. How many inches is your waist, hips, chest? That type of stuff is important. And a lot of times when your scale isn't moving a lot, your body measurements gives you really important information to understand where you are as far as health and progress. I feel goals. like I'm an example of that because I started, as a lot of y'all know, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I started incorporating beef into my diet. And although my weight actually went up a few pounds, my body has, you know, shown a little bit more muscle mass, right? Absolutely. It is possible for the number on the scale to stay the same or slightly go up, but your body actually gets smaller. That's because if your body is losing fat and adding muscle at the same time, which is very realistic goal to have, um, then your body can be toning up and literally getting smaller, more shapely, while your body fat percentage is going down. Another way that you can measure your goals and, and um, be consistent with that uh, level of accountability is with wearable tech. You know, something that keeps up with your calories or your steps or your exercise or anything like that, that can be a reminder of what you're actually getting done day to day. And so let's say that today you want to start measuring and you don't have a tape measure, you don't have a scale yet, you don't have some of these things. Pick out an article of clothing, something that's either a little too small, a little too big, and put it on and then that's put true. it to the side and then see how it fits later on. Jeans are really good with that, shirts. Oh, jeans don't are the try worst. Socks. Don't try to pull out a pair of socks, that don't count. <laughs> Jeans, shirts, a dress, suit, skirt, anything that's like that um, can help give you some indicator of where you're at. Right. Jeans have really hurt my feelings. You know, if I ever, like in the past, I've gotten into good shape, been able to wear my jeans, and for a period of time, I only wore leggings. Fast forward a month or two later, and now I can't get in my jeans. So I think if you do have something that is like an in indicator of where you are and where you want to be, like you fit into your jeans, do not go an extended period of time without wearing them or else the weight can sneak up on you. So I do think that like clothes is a really great way to kind of track and see where you are. Um, and even if, you know, you're the type of person who doesn't want to get on the scale because that's not for everybody. Um, a great indicator is how do you feel in your clothes? The solution is not always to go out and get a new wardrobe. I've definitely been there in the past where it's like, you know what, I'm gonna just give me something else. But I think that, you know, what the expectation is of like, I want to be in my clothes, you know, you can work toward getting back into them. I mean, you were in them at one point, so you got what it takes to get back. Definitely. Okay. And the last um, point that you want to keep measuring is with your food. Okay. You want to have some sort of indication of where you're at with calories. Okay? I love to eat. Exactly. Food can add up. And foods that typically are tastier and more addicting are more calorie dense. That means it's not a lot of food, but it's a lot of calories packed into it. I don't know why God did it that way. I don't think God did. I think man did it that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's why everything that's so calorie dense comes in a package for 99 cents. Touche. Three shea. All right. Um, that last point... Uh, moves us to point number three which is a fasting window if you want to lose weight and keep it off incorporating a fasting window into your daily lifestyle can really help you reduce those calories 
at the end of the day, um, when it comes to weight loss specifically, calories are really important. You ultimately want to be burning more calories a day than you are consuming. Every day, your body burns a certain amount of calories, the average around 2,000. That's just if you were laying in the bed all day. It's just the energy it takes your body to function is about 2,000. And so if you eat about 2,000, then that would bring you to a difference of zero, which is pretty standard ideal. But the more calories you burn a day, you're walking and exercising, the more calories you have that you can consume without gaining weight. But having an idea of that, like we talked about, helps you know where you're at, and a fasting window helps shorten the amount of time that you're eating every day so that you can feel more full, more satisfied, without consuming a lot of extra calories. Point number four, physical activity. All these are kind of tying in together. The more active you are is the more calories that you're burning, which puts you at a bigger calorie deficit at the end of the day or a smaller calorie surplus, depending on where you're at. Okay, so you'll want to stay active and not just for weight loss and weight gain, but just so that you feel better. You want to yeah. get your body moving. And just for overall health, it's important to be moving, getting around. It's good for your mental health. So many benefits of just finding a way to get active, even if it's just going for a walk. Going for a walk is really great. Um, and just exercise any way that you can. If you're in your house, if you're, you know, working in the office, there's anything that you can do um, to be active is going to be great. All right. And then the last tip is more sleep, less stress, more water. Okay. You want to be drinking. More sleep, less stress, more water. Did I get that right? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So you definitely <laughs> want to be getting more sleep. Six to eight hours is what's recommended. Um, the more sleep you can get, the better. All right, if you go too far past eight hours, sometimes that can be counterproductive and making you feel more groggy throughout the day. But sleep is really important. And I tie that in with less stress because when you're not getting enough sleep at night, it puts a lot of stress on your body. When you have stress in your body, that changes into body fat, cortisol levels, which we're not getting into all that type of stuff. But stress equals fat. You belly wanna, fat. Belly's fat specifically. You don't want to stress belly. Stress belly, stress belly. Okay. <laughs> um, and then more water. Okay, you want to stay hydrated. You don't want to put too much of your water consumption towards bedtime, or you might lose some of that sleep. Yeah, I'm at, I'm literally um, guilty of doing that, and I have to wake up in the middle of the night, and it does interrupt the sleep. So try and get your water in the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, and I would say probably lay low after six. I mean, I tend to go to sleep around nine-ish, so yeah. yeah, I'm known to drink water up until like 8.30. Definitely. You want to stay very hydrated. Body being hydrated really helps with all the different functions that your body does. We're more so <coughs> water than anything else when it comes to digestion, bowel movements, exercising, everything. Let me see. You got to get that water in. What the app says, how much water. Yeah, so the FitTrack app says that my body water percentage is 48.4 percent as i mentioned earlier so yeah that's a lot it says that the optimum water content as a percentage in relation to body composition can boost the body's ability to burn fat which increases the metabolic rate in healthy individuals so it says that i'm pretty standard but yeah water is essential so you can never hurt yourself by increasing the amount of water you drink just try not to limit it to close before bed. Absolutely. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into five quick, practical, free bonus tips that you can implement today. Tip number one, start drinking half your body weight in ounces of water. So for example, I weigh close to 200 pounds. I want to drink 100 ounces of water a day. Tip number two, get that six to eight hours of sleep. Three, incorporate a fasting window today. Even if you wanted to start off moderate and say, you know what, I'm going to eat from 8 in the morning to 8 p.m., that still leaves 12 hours of a fasting window because sleep counts in that. All right, tip number four, set some goals. Set those goals today. We know we want to measure. You know you want to do that stuff. Get your numbers. Set some goals. You can do that today. Setting a goal is free. And I find that setting goals is like encouraging because when you start making your way and chipping your way towards your goals, you kind of get that momentum to keep it going. So I feel like setting some realistic goals is key. Absolutely. All right. Last tip number five. Take at least 10 to 20 minutes of intentional non-sitting 
So if you're not really ready to go into full activity, you're not really ready to start exercising, take at least 10 to 20 minutes that you would typically be sitting down, stand, walk, jog, anything. Dance. Anything other than sitting <laughs> or that. <laughs> all right, so that is all of our tips. Thank you, babe, for sharing your insight. Corey like lives, sleeps, breeds fitness so it's kind of his thing and we appreciate you sharing because i know a lot of times they want to hear fitness tips from you rather than me i don't know why it's fine listen if these tips seem like ah oh, that wouldn't make a difference it's probably because you're not doing it put these things into place and you will see a difference that's true but yeah thanks for being on the channel today like i said earlier check the description box to get your fit track scale and to get 20 percent off using my code thank you all so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and comment what your current health goal is is it to be more active is it to feel more rested is it to you know work on your stress whatever your health goal is be sure to comment down below thank y'all so much for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing y'all in the next one